Yeah, trendsetter. Whoa, league of my own, it don't get better. No. All right, guys, I'm with my man Carlos. Carlos, where are we heading? We're heading south. <laughs> now we're gonna go see some park models that uh, that people use uh, to put on their uh, on their RV sites. Uh, they're about under 500 square feet, and we're going to the uh, the dealer and manufacturer. We're gonna pay a little visit. Awesome, and guys, I'm, I wanted to, I, I'd asked him about this because on the video that I made on the RV park that we're staying at now, some of you had asked about those park models. And just to make a correction, these are not mobile homes and they're not tiny homes. They're called park models. Correct. So, and, and what's the difference, Carlos? Well, the, the park model is usually up in Florida, it's up to 500 square feet. Now, if you're gonna have a park model, and other states, you better look up their regulations because uh, their regulations could be 400 square feet, but I know Florida's 500. Anything above 500 is considered a mobile home and they're not considered considered tiny homes either. So these are park models that people use and, uh, and they just order it and they come deliver it and they set it on your RV lot. Uh, and there you go. That's that's usually it. Awesome. And that's what you guys live in as that's well. That's what right? we have. We have uh, we have two. We, we we live in one, and we bought another one. We rent it, uh, which makes for a good rental property. I'll tell you for for the cost. Um, yeah. So we live there, uh, stay with the grandkids and uh, the kids and everything, and then we take off for four or five months and we travel the country, uh, and then we come back. Uh, so that's that's our, our our little journey. We 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 come and go. That's awesome. Let's go check out these park models. All right, guys. So we're inside one of the park models to give you guys an idea of what these look like. Let's go to the back here. Wow. So one bedroom, one bath. Nice size closet here. Plenty of storage down there. Storage here. The shelves up there. And then let's go here to about the bathroom. Nice size shower. Again, guys, these are one bedroom, one baths. Plenty of storage for the bathrooms. And then check this out. Washer and dryer right here. And then storage cabinets. And there's a door here. You could be, if you're pretty handy and you put this thing parked out here, you can put a porch or something here on the outside. And here's the living room and the kitchen. These are absolutely beautiful. And there's different kinds of models and things like that, right? Yeah. So nice. I love it. And it's great. Now, what's usually like the price ranges in these? So. Oh, they're over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of give you an idea. Now, if you're watching this video 10 years from now, it's going to be a little different, but. <laughs> That's awesome. So, here's another model, guys. <laughs> this one's another really nice one here. Here's the back bedroom. Lots of storage here. Again, these are park model homes. Park model homes, they are not mobile homes. They are not tiny homes. So when you go and inquire about these, you're gonna ask for park model homes. Closet here. And there isn't a washer and dryer here, but this would be for your washer and dryer here. Another door here. Tons of storage here. Great kitchen. Very nice here. And then, of course, the living room. So, there you go, guys. Get a couple of different types of models. Now, this is the outside of the uh, first one that we saw. You can see the two doors, sliding glass door, door here. That was the bedroom. And here's the side of it here and now this is the second one so there's the side of it here 
living room, kitchen, and then the entrance here. Pretty simple stuff, guys. They're awesome. Just under 500 square feet, 499. Here's another model, guys, so you guys can check it out. Just want to kind of give you guys an idea of different models that they have. Again, nice storage closets there, storage there, storage up at the top. There's Carlos. Hey. As you can see, typically what you get, you get everything you need. You got your refrigerator, I mean, stainless steel yeah i mean and which is built. amazing they're very well built and it's great for two people you know one or two people you're fine um nice big windows it's, it's all open you know i'll tell you a funny story uh we've been living in an rv uh, uh campground we own our own site for many years and we, were, we had a fifth wheel, and my wife kept saying, um, uh, we need, we want to move, want to get an apartment, and I, and I didn't want it. I kept saying no. But when we first started looking, there was 60, there about 66,000. Then I waited, and I said no, they went up to 80. And I kept saying, no, I don't want a damn park model. <laughs> and then by the time we decided, well, it went from 60 to 70, by the time we decided, they went up to be 80. And, and now they're 100. Oh boy. So, but we got in at 80. But I could have gone in at 60. See? If I <laughs> to my wife. But I don't. Way yeah. to go, Sandy. Way to go. Yeah. And look, at, okay. look, and look at the price on this one, guys. Yeah. I mean, amazing stuff. No, but look, look, look. And at they're this. affordable. I mean, they're affordable. Listen to the road. Wow. Guys, we're right next to a major highway here. Here. This is and closed. listen. This is Just closed. listen. Wow. Uh huh. It's very well made. Yeah. Very well made. All right, guys, here's another model. I love this one here. So, living room, ceiling fan up there. This one's got a dining room table. You can make that a coffee bar, or whatever you guys want to make there. Yeah. Tons of storage. Check out this kitchen. Hope's going to see these kitchens and then be like, um, yeah. <laughs> storage. Look at these, the refrigerator's huge. Everything's stainless steel. Again, another nice size bathroom with tons of storage. Door. Of course, the bedrooms. So just a little bit of design changes here and there. But for the most part. Yeah, see for me, I would take this out to leave it all open, and some people like this. But yeah. I, I personally, I would yank that out of there. And this is this is what's good of giving them these options, right? Showing them these different types yeah. of options because they can pick and choose what they want, you know? Yeah. Good stuff, guys. And again, listen, we can't, the, the main road is right here, yeah. and you can't hear. But open up these windows. Let's wait for a car to come by. Yeah, that's amazing. Good stuff. So just a little bit of information on these RV park models. They are limited to 499 square feet. So basically manufacturers can't go over 500 square feet and that allows them to maintain that RV status, which allows them in turn to go into RV parks and communities in the area in the state of Florida. Now, everywhere else in the US is 400 square feet or ANSI, ANSI, park models, and those don't need the hurricane and wind standards. Um, so the state of Florida allows manufacturers to go 100 square feet larger as long as they meet the hurricane wind codes and that HUD requires, which are the wind zones two and three. So if that gives you a little bit more information of what you know the park model is compared to everything else um, around the US, you know the, the state of Florida um, with the hurricane um, HUD standards here, uh, they've, they've got to meet those standards to make sure that these things can make it through uh, uh, bigger hurricanes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you got any questions about those RV park models um, that maybe I didn't answer on this 
video, let me know and I'm sure I can able to get some information for you guys, um, you know, about them or just inquire yourself, look them up. But listen, that's a great alternative. If you guys know the housing market, especially in the state of Florida is extremely high. There's a lot of people are looking to retire down here and this could be an option for you to live in an RV uh, park community and get one of these reasonably priced with the land and you would make a killing here. I mean, there's a lot of people here that are, are retired um, and that's what they did. They sold their properties somewhere else in another state in the United States, moved here and you know, they're, they're doing pretty well and they're living really well in these houses. So um, let me also thank my friend Carlos. Guys, you're gonna see Carlos. I'm gonna have his information down below. He does have a YouTube page, um, but I'm actually uh, doing a video with him so you guys can learn more about him. He's got an extremely interesting life. Um, he's been in RV life for a really, really long time. So just, just you'll, you guys will see um, in a video that's going to be upcoming soon about about him and his family and, and the life that you know he's done in the RV life. So that's coming up. So Carlos, thanks so much for uh, bringing me up there and showing me around. I really appreciate it. So guys, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys because listen, we are now monetized. I'm so excited. Um, it took us a year to get monetized, which is really cool. I mean, our other channel, Mission Keto, took a little longer than that. I think it was a little over two years, but this one, we did it in a year. So I'm really excited. Thank you all so much for supporting us. I truly appreciate it. And we've got more great content coming in very soon. So, and nice neighbors driving by. You got to wave at everybody going by. So, all right, guys. So again, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.